All right, Nigel, let's take a look at the trending page and see if we can find something funny to watch. I'm in the mood for a good laugh. No, uh, no, not having any luck, really. Wait, what about that one? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Wow, Hannah Stocking has a new trending video? Oh, man, we are in for a treat. This is sure to be fucking hilarious. Hell yeah, bro. Let's check it out. Yeah, man, let's check it out. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, she does. Hello everyone, my name is Leon Lush, and welcome back to a new video. I am simply edging with glee that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me today before moving on with your day. <laughs> oh boy, it's a real honor. All right, let's cut to the chase. Enough of the camera tricks. Today we're here to watch a Hannah stalking video that's been trending here for a couple days. I think it reached number four, uh, as far as I know, maybe even higher yesterday. And we're going to watch it. We're going to laugh our fucking asses off because, well, not because it's funny, but because it's meant to be funny, but it's the exact opposite of funny, which when you subtract the one and carry the two in some alternate universe, it makes it, I guess it makes it fun. Now, this isn't the first video I've made about Hannah stalking, but it's been a while since we checked in, so I thought when I saw her video banging on my trending page, why don't we take a look, see if she's made some strides to improve her content, to make it more appealing to a larger audience of people that aren't eight to 10 years old. No. Nope. So without further ado, let's take a quick peek. Yo, shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, that wasn't a, that wasn't a dildo. Nigel, you fucking with me right now? What is that all about? Yo, mother... F <laughs> oh, little misdirection. I see what you did there. Sneaky bitch. Anyways, let's, ta let's take a look at Wait, My Crush is Watching by Hannah Stocking and Lele Pons. Pretty intense music right off the bat for a tennis playoff, I, I must admit. And that little bit we got from Audrey at the beginning there. That's just a little foreshadowing for a performance that I think is going to end up being one of the most prestigious in recent online cinematic history. So the stage is set for a competitive tennis playoff and the generic rock music going on in the background is the perfect compliment to really set the mood. Wow. Yeah. I'm not good enough. No one can stop me. <laughs> what what was that? What was that, dude? That was just that sequence you just watched. I didn't edit that at all. That was an actual thing they included in the and then cue the rock music just fucking what a fucking piece of cinematic mastery i am just i'm gonna watch that again what an idiot Jesus Christ, learn to shag balls, bro, before you play with the likes of Hannah Stockings. You're making yourself look like a moron. <laughs> he fell over. <laughs> oh. What's up, guys? What's up, Jeff? How you doing, man? Hannah! Hannah! No big deal! Jeff is here! The boy you like! Not everybody knows! Everybody knows things! You're doing great, just pretend he's not here. But but he is, he's right here. Okay, so the title of the video, Wait, My Crush is Watching, is starting to make sense. The plot's starting to unfold, right? Jeff shows up, she's playing tennis, she gets a little bit flustered, and I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I think we can take a little guess of how this is going to go. Oh, she missed it because she was distracted. I get it. Come yep. on! 
That rock music, though. My ah! God. In the whiff. It's, it's okay, honey. It's, it's okay, Hannah. It's just one point. You got this. Ah! Calm the fuck down. Uh, and there she goes. Yep. So she now can't play tennis because her crush Jeff is watching. And it's comedic genius. I mean, who the hell could play tennis with Jeff watching? Look at those beautiful, pinchable cheeks on that man. I mean, if I was playing tennis and he was watching me, forget about it. I wouldn't have any blood flow left in my brain to figure out where to hit the ball. If you know what I'm, if you know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd have a boner. I would have a boner. All right, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of impressed that she was able to hit a plane with the tennis ball. I mean, that is a tremendous feat of athleticism, but what's crazier is the fact that Lele Pons was on the exact plane that she hit. I mean, what are the chances? They're like best friends. Oh, that is such a coincidence. Well, speaking of Lele Pons and Hannah Stocking, they are both signed with Shots Studios. And if you're unfamiliar with Shot Studios, they're this massive media company that signs some of these big creators like Hannah and Lele, and they just do not give a fuck about fair use. So I'm not worrying about the way I present the clips in this. I'm not trying to be transformative in my editing. I don't give a fuck because no matter what I do, this video would immediately be claimed by Shot Studios. I could make a video in another dimension on a separate planet about water polo and just go, Hannah's talking. Instantly claimed by Shot Studios. Doesn't matter, fair use, fuck fair use. We're taking the money for that. I don't care that you worked eight, nine, 10 hours on the editing and you've only presented small little clips of our video. The fact that you even use the name, no, that's our fucking revenue. We're taking that. That's fucking Shot Studios. You know what, in fact, if Shots, if you're watching this, Shot Studios, do me a favor, you're probably not because it's probably some fucking bot that claims it. But if you're, but if you're watching this, do me a favor, just do, if you could just take a nice deep gulp of these plums and just be gentle with the tip, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much, Shots. Hey, Jeff! Hey, I, uh, I'm so surprised to see you here. Hi! What's up, Hannah? Oh, I didn't even know you were here. Really? You were looking the whole time. You look great. Thank you. Aren't you in the middle of a game right now? <laughs> it Oh yeah. So after this adorable interaction between the two, the rest of the video kind of plays out the exact same way it's been going. Crush is watching, Hannah can't play tennis. Uh, yes. She gets a little pep talk from the coach. Listen, I don't care about Jeff. I care about you winning this game. You're right. I need you to focus. Okay, thanks. Okay? The ball boy continues to be an absolute idiot. Around. Look at him running. Oh, he's getting the balls. Get the balls, you little noob. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> why are there so many tennis balls? Why are what is she doing? What is he doing? Oh, <laughs> this is so fucking hilarious. Fuck. Look at that ball boy. That literally goes on for like 30 more seconds. I'm not even fucking with you. You're bleeding! Jeff. I am bleeding. Oh my, are, you, uh, are you gonna go to the hospital? Uh, yeah, I need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. Yeah, okay. Dude, yeah. come on, don't leave, uh, man. Do you think that with the production powerhouse of Shot Studios backing this film, in the absolute cinematic prowess of Hannah Stocking and Lele Pons, they could have taken the time to remember to get a little, get a little bit of fake blood so it looks like a real bloody nose? I just didn't want to miss the end of the game. Oh. Yeah, 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 so yeah. little misdirection here. You think Jeff's gonna leave to go to the hospital and Hannah's gonna come back to form and take home this W, but psych, Jeff just got a tissue for his nose and what do you know? <laughs> Hannah whiffs again. Oh. Jeff, wait, no, 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 wait, hey, hey. Where did he go? Jeff's got his own game to get to. His own game? Get away from my face. Oh, sorry. Jeff! So 
the video is winding down, but we are gearing up for the climax to this comedic masterpiece. And apparently Jeff is a ping pong player and he left to play in a tournament and Hannah's going to chase after him because she's his crush. Hey Jeff, it's your crush. So now that you've seen the build-up, it's time for you to decide. Does Jeff A continue the volley with his opponent for several minutes before narrowly escaping with a victory because of an incredible backhand? B slam the next shot down his opponent's throat, punch him in the mouth, and then walk out of there a champion? Or C whiff the shot like a complete idiot and then fall over with some bullshit sound effects in the background because <laughs> it's fucking hilarious! <sighs> You were right, it was C. So that's the video, but my favorite part of this entire experience is when a video like this from like Lele or Hannah gets on the trending page and introduces that video to a whole new demographic of people outside of their, you know, typical stand base. And the comments, <laughs> the comments start to get good. If this is trending on YouTube, it's time to go back to watching TV. Is it possible to unlaugh or like reverse laugh? What the fuck is this? Comedians. I just wasted the longest six minutes and 27 seconds of my life. You think you got a bad Zobex? Try making a 10 plus minute video on it that you're not gonna make a dime from because it's gonna get claimed by Shot Studios. Hell you, sir. This is absolutely disgraceful. This is so unfunny, it's unbelievable. I'm beginning to think that Lele Pons has an employer of YouTube working under her. Did anybody even let out a chuckle while watching this? Or even a smile for that matter? <laughs> As someone who plays tennis, this is not even how you play at all. So unfunny it could be an SNL skit. This is terrible, what the frick? <laughs> I'm telling you, I've scrolled through the entire first page of comments. I haven't found a single positive. Oh, wait a minute, there's one. Hannah, tennis good. That was nice, that was nice of him to say. Brian Alberto Castillo Sotelo, mi amore. Yo, this is garbage. Quality comedic content. And finally, the cherry on top to this comment section from my friend, Cherry Lover 143 They say this. The only joke here is that the video is on trending. <laughs> They're absolutely right. That is kind of, that is the, probably the funniest part of this entire experience. Listen, as always, guys, it's nothing personal against any of these chicks, right? They're making money hand over fist. They're killing the game right now, making this content for fucking five-year-olds. But sometimes it's fun to take the piss out of how obnoxious they are. The Tomato Mafia is fucking killing the game right now. You guys are leaving comments. You're liking videos. You're coming back time and time again. You're supporting my content. It means the world to me. I got a lot of congratulations for passing 200,000 subscribers uh, it's very exciting and I can't wait to continue to make progress and continue to grow and make fucking videos man I have a great time doing this shit and listen if you're new here go ahead and subscribe to the channel you know what I'm saying you don't want to miss the next upload you just had a great fucking time once you come back next week and do it again and whether you're new or you're old if you could just do me a favor and take a quick second go to your cousin's high school graduation you want to form tackle the principal while he's on stage handing out diplomas to these little snot-nosed high schoolers and after you form tackle them on the ground you heel stomp them in the solar plexus and then get up and you teabag them halo online multiplayer style and then you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me thank you so much for watching i appreciate every last mother one of you shot studios take my money baby I need some motherfucking